In this video, you're going to learn how to use layers and learn the shape tool options in Adobe Illustrator um, by doing this simple project. So to begin, we're going to create a new document. Go to File, New. And when we have this option, we're going to look for the print up at the top. And then we're going to look for the letter preset. And you can change that from points to inches to see that it's eight and a half inches by 11 inches and then go ahead and name it. We're going to name this the layer exercise and then I always like to include my name in it and click create. There we go. So in Adobe Illustrator your screen might look very simple and plain. I like to change my workspace by clicking on the word essentials in the top right and changing it to Essentials Classic. So go ahead and do that for the purpose of this exercise. And what we're going to be doing is we want to see all of our layer options. There's off to the right, these are called palettes. And within it, you're going to see two, two uh, squares that are on top of each other. That's our layers thumbnail, um, our layer shortcut. A better way to get there, and just so you know this, whenever you're trying to make things appear or disappear, go up to window, scroll down and find the word layers. Once you put a check mark to that, that will expand. Okay. So layers gives you the option to work in lots of different um, layers on top of each other. So by doing this simple exercise, we're going to not only learn how to use the shape tool, but also how to work in layers. We're going to double click on where it says layer one, double click on it and it will let you rename this layer. We're gonna make a bunch of squares on this layer so we're gonna name this squares and then you can click off of it and there we go. You want this selected so just click on it you can see it's kind of a, a blue and then over here I'm gonna look in my toolbar and I'm gonna find a tool called the rectangle tool. Now when I push and click you'll see that there's a bunch of other options for shape, different shapes that I can create in here. But we're just going to use the rectangle tool to start with. Now we are going to click and drag to make a square. Now I can eyeball it and try to make a perfect square that way or I can hold down shift on the keyboard and that will make a perfect square. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and make one square to show you how to use that, that rectangle tool to make a square. Um, when I have that selected, I can go up here or I can go down here to change the fill and the stroke color. And for these squares, I want to make blue squares. So I'm going to show you up here. I can choose the blue. And then I want to have an orange stroke. And then the stroke weight for this one is just going to be one point. So that's going to show how how thick the outline is. That's called the stroke weight. So I'm going to go back to my rectangle tool and here you can see it has my colors correct or chosen the way I want it. And I'm going to do 11 squares on this layer. And you can just place them randomly. All different sizes if you want. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then use the selection tool, select off of it, and there you go. I have 11 blue squares with an orange stroke at one point stroke weight on this layer. I can make this layer appear and then disappear by clicking on that eyeball icon. Next to that is a blank area here. When I click on that, it will show a padlock. So now when I try to draw on here, it shows me that I can't draw because that layer is locked. So make sure you named your layer, padlocked it, made the visibility on, and now we're going to go ahead and create another layer. This layer we're going to call circles. To make a circle, find your rectangle tool. Now this time click and hold and scroll down to the ellipse tool. And we are going to change the color right away to a purple. And the stroke color, this time I'm going to change it down here at the bottom of my toolbar by double clicking on it. I'm 
make it yellow, so I'm using complementary colors. And this time the stroke weight, we're going to bump it up a little bit to two points. Now similar to the rectangle tool, if I click and drag, it'll create an oval or, or an ellipse. So if I hold down the shift button, that will make a perfect circle. So I'm going to go ahead and make eight circles on this layer. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can have them overlapping. You can have them overlapping the edge as well. But that's what we're doing for that layer. If your layers disappeared, find that little icon that looks like that, and that will pull out that option. I'm going to go ahead and lock that layer, and I'm going to create a third layer. And this time we're going to name it Triangles. Go back to your Shape tool, and I don't see a Triangle tool, so it makes, makes me wonder a little bit. Well, a triangle would be considered a polygon, so I can use the polygon tool to select it. But you're going to notice that when I click and drag, it makes a hexagon, or yours might make a different shape. To figure out how many sides we want on it, if you just do a single click, it will give you the option in this dialog box on how many sides do you want. For, rectang or for a triangle, we obviously want three. So I'm going to go ahead and click three. I'm going to use my selection tool to select it. I'll click and drag it, and I want to make this a red triangle with a complementary color, which is green, for the stroke color. And for the stroke weight, we're going to bump this up to four. Now for this layer, we want to have 17 homes. That's a lot of triangles, so I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. If I hold down Shift, it'll keep it in proportion. Otherwise, it'll stretch it, and that's fine, too, whatever you prefer. I like the equilateral. Um, so there's different ways I can do this. I could keep clicking and dragging to create 17 that way. I could also start copying and pasting by going Edit, Copy is Command-C, Command-V is Paste. So I'm going to hit Command-C to copy, Command-V to paste, and then I'll click and move it. And B, paste, click and move it. There's even a neater way to do this. If I hold, if I select a triangle, hold down the option key, you'll see that my black arrow now has a white arrow next to it as well. So I can click and drag, and that will copy it and paste it in place where I unclick. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Copy and paste multiple ones at a time. 12 plus 3 is 15. And then I just need two more. There we go. All right, we'll lock that layer. And you kind of understand what's going on now. We're going to do two more, two more layers. This next layer, we're going to call this the star layer. And we're going to go to the shape tool and we're going to find stars but for this one I want it to be an eight point star. So to click and drag first to see one, two, three, four, five, that's not going to work. Command Z to undo. Use the star tool, single click, and that shows me how many points I want. So that's eight points. There we go. So I've got an eight point star. Uh, the color of this star is going to be Let's make it let's make it a green star with a red outline. Let's make it a thin. You can even type in 0.5 to make it really thin. There we go. I'm gonna do the fancy hold down option, click and drag trick to make five of them. I've got one, two, three, four, five, eight point stars. And then finally, we're going to do one more layer. I'm going to lock that layer. And this one is going to be a pen, pen tool layer. So we're going to learn that we can use the pen tool. 
to create our own shape. Um, the color that you choose for this is totally your choice. The stroke color you choose is totally your choice. And the stroke weight you choose for this is completely your choice. So you can pick whatever, whatever you feel like. And it's kind of like connecting the dots. And then you can also click and drag. And that'll make a rounded shape. Something like that would be a, a nice free form shape made by the pen tool. And I'm going to have seven of these. So I can copy and paste the same one. Or if you want to get more experience with the pen tool, just click and drag kind of play around with it until you have seven different shapes. So I'm just going to take those three, copy and paste them, you can flip them, you can rotate them, scale them down. All right, it's a big, big mess right now, but that's totally fine. We'll lock that layer. So now we have five different layers. I'm going to pull this over. This is my shortcut. Cheater, so if I went a little too fast and you want to catch up, you can look at that. Um, but another thing I want to show you about layers is you can click and drag to move them around, which is kind of a neat thing. So if I want to bring the circles to the front, I bring them all the way to the top of my layers list, and there they go. If I want to put my pen tool shapes, they're kind of wonky, into the back, I drag them to the bottom, and that will hide those. To save this, I'm just going to go File, Save As. It's called the Layer Exercise. Where am I saving it? In my Creative Cloud Files folder. My format, I'm going to save it as an Illustrator document first. And then I'm also going to save it the second way as an Adobe PDF. Because a PDF, somebody else could open this and they don't necessarily need Illustrator to be able to view it. So I always save my my documents in two different ways, an Illustrator file and a PDF. Thanks for watching.